Where can I find the sheriff? I got trouble with Gary Stevens. The map, Bill.
Let's get out of here. You were a friend of Bill Dakota's? He was my brother. came as fast as possible. Yeah, I knew you would. Thanks for coming, Peggy. Is he all right? Yeah. Your name's Pat, isn't it? Yeah. You wouldn't mind visiting my place for a while, hmm? What are you doing, Ken? You won't change anything now. Don't worry about it. I won't take any chances. I'm afraid, Ken. Take me with you. You're going for a while to Aunt Peggy's. You take care of her now, hmm? Sure, Uncle Ken. Ken, hurry back.
Good morning. Hey, Dakota. Why you ain't here to pay for the funeral now? Where are you? Ten dollars enough? Mm hmm? Oh, my heart ain't used to sudden shocks like this. It's the first time I ever get paid without asking for it. You need me to pick me up. I want to thank you for everything you've done. I won't forget it, Duke. Yeah. I'd like a little information. Mm -hmm. Where would the sheriff be around this time of day? Now, what do you want him for? Take a guess. Well, yeah, I bet you're one of those fellas that believes in law and justice. Ain't that right? Well, you're a damn fool. Around here, justice is dead and buried. Yeah, buried in the first grave on Boot Hill. And guess who they done put in the second one? Mercy, son. Yes, my friend, mercy. Uh, look, what'd you want? You expected them to help Bill just because he was your brother? <laughs> no. The law's a deck of cards, Ken Dakota. And even if you figure they got it stacked against you, don't you fight it. Now go on back home and stay there. You can. Uh, do me a favor, will you? If anyone should ask for the sheriff, don't say he's in the saloon bending his elbow. That gives a bad impression. You just say you'd better go easy on the old booze, or uh, you'll find out how popular he is uh, at his own funeral. Oh, ten dollars. Mister, I'm Bill Dakota's brother. Bill asked you for help before he was killed. You refused. Why? The law don't protect bandits. Bill had to fight it out on his own, Dakota. At that moment, he was just a man, asking another man for help to keep himself alive. It was too late. Gary Stevens would have shot us all dead and burned down the town to boot. You should have tried to stop him. That was your duty. It's what you're paid for. I figure you killed Phil. I'm a sheriff, not a damn fool. I say you're yellow. You talk too much, Dakota. I'm telling you, clear out now. Ugh. <laughs> 
Oh, Ken, see this coffin? Rock Maple. I make two a year for important customers. Uh, where's the body? And no point in measuring him. I've been ready for the sheriff now for, for a long time. He won't need it. I just winged a couple of his deputies. Uh, well, didn't you kill the sheriff? No. Uh, well, you shouldn't want to get me upset. That's twice you almost give me heart failure. I finally get a cash customer, you don't kill nobody. Oh, I need to pick me up. You know Gary Stevens? Uh -huh. Gary Stevens? Yeah. You've been to the graveyard. You've seen all those markers. He's responsible for over half of them, I tell you. Look, my advice to you is forget old scores with that fella. Where can I find him? Search me, unless he's in Mexico. It's just a couple of miles over the border, you know. He, he rides over, kills somebody, and then heads back. You ever see him face to face? Yeah, once. That butcher sure is bad medicine. Not to me. What? Are you going to cross the border, aren't you? Well, if you're determined and bound to get yourself killed, no matter what I say, then uh, let me see. Uh, time's running out, and you ought to be measured. Uh, any kind of wood you'd like? You going to pay in advance? I want you to come with me and find Stevens. Listen, Ken, why do you want to give up such a nice, peaceful life? You got land. It's more than I've got. I've never had land. You got everything you need. Maybe you're just local. I ain't going with you, then, and I don't want your money. And another thing, if I come with you like you're saying, who's going to make our coffins? I mean yours. Thanks all the same. Well, what's your rush? Hold on. You don't expect me to go to Mexico on my shirt sleeves now, do you? <laughs> Why, you hard-headed, stubborn mule. Well, I admit, stubbornness appeals to me. Yeah. Well, let's go. No, I ain't doing this for cash at all. Well, just for expenses, all right? You can keep the rest <laughs> for my old age. Finest slaves in the whole territory. I never saw such specimens. They fight magnificently, too. Ha! <laughs> 
You know the rules. There's one bullet in the chamber. You've got three chances to defy it. Once more, or else I'll tell him to shoot at you. You are a free man. Bring another pair. I won't be long. Like my cigars, Gary? <laughs> they ain't bad, Chris. Well, <laughs> ain't it pretty? You see, I keep my promises, like you. And the legitimate proprietor? Well, if you want the truth, he don't need it no more. Having that map still isn't pocketing the gold. It takes money to operate a mine. That's why I offered you 30%. Be your money. And my influence. 
You know, the authorities around here don't bother anybody protected by Chris Malone. Am I mistaken, or did I hear you say 50%? <laughs> right. You're 50 percent. The money's in town at the bank, and you will have to get it. Oh. Should be an easy job for you, Gary. The bank is mine. I want the insurance company to finance our mine for us. Anything wrong with that? <laughs> well, that's very clever of you. You use your brain, huh? You ought to learn to use yours, if you've got one. <laughs> You got time to shoe a horse for us? No, mañana, senor. Yeah, that figures. Duke, you wait for me here. I'll have a look in the posada. Yeah, I right, guess. Bienvenido, senor. Tequila. Tequila pronto. Ever see a man come through these parts called Gary Stevens? Gary Stevens? No, no, I do not know him, senor. Hands up now. No, not you. You just sit down there and keep your hands on the table where I can see them. You see, I've come to the bank here to make a withdrawal. Move it, mister.
Fill the bag. Just hold still and try to be a hero. Are you sure that that's him? Yeah, that's one face nobody would mistake. I am sorry if we surprised you. Chris Malone is my amigo. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Who are the on about here? The jail's in the other direction, ain't it? Sorry to treat you like this, Gary. But in my place, I think you would have done the same. <laughs> I had to eliminate your men, legally of course, before I could finally do business with you. Muy bien, Amandares. Tu has hecho un buen trabajo. Muchas gracias, señor. Well, hurry up, Gary. It's hot out here. Where's your half of that map? Don't be a damn fool, Gary. You know me, I never give up. You see the sun? It's strong. You'll start to sweat pretty soon. The sun will get harder and harder till it starts to fry your brains, drive you crazy. And there'll be others suffering with you.
Let's see them, Jose. The sun makes them nervous, too. where you put the other half of that map, because if not, I have no use for you anymore. I said, if you kill me, then you'll never get it. I don't want to kill you, Gary. After all, aren't we partners? Friends? I don't know where it is. We made a deal. I kept my part. I even killed for you. Turn me loose, Chris. Listen, I'll give you 60%. Chris! Chris, let me go! Chris! I'll kill you, Chris. Oh, so I'll make God, I'll kill you with my bare hands if I get out of this. No! Don't! Don't ever tell you where the map is! Never! You'll never get it! You see those rodents, Gary? They're real hungry. They like the taste of honey. Pretty soon they're gonna bite their way through that rope, strand by strand. And you'll drop closer and closer to the snakes while the sun is frying your brain until the rope can't hold your weight any longer. And, well, you can imagine what'll happen then. Why don't you just tell him, Gary? I prefer you alive. Help me! Get me out of here! I can't stand it anymore! Then start talking. I'll give you 80%, but hurry! Hurry, Chris! The bite doesn't hurt, Gary. Once the poison enters your bloodstream, you just want to go to sleep. Cut me loose, Chris! Let me go! That's up to you. Where did you hide that map? But it's my share! Mine! I can't stand the heat any longer. And I'm tired of this game. Let's go, please, Chris. Think about it. I'll give you some more time. I need a bath. I'll be back tomorrow. If it's not too late.
wants a drink of my water. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you are joking, eh, gringo? What do you want? That man. Bien, gringo. <laughs> Why not take him then? Loose, mister. I can't take no more. Who are you? A man who's been looking for you ever since you left San Antonio. I, I don't know you. No, but you knew my brother. Bill Dakota. No, I didn't do nothing. He did. Why'd you kill him? <laughs> No! No! No way! Why? I had to kill him. He don't double cross me. Your brother, he tried to steal that mine. The gold, we were gonna find it together. He tried to cut me out of the deal. He stole the map and. Is that what they're after? Yeah. Chris Malone, he will watch it all. We were partners 50-50. I cut the map in two, and I gave him half of it. And your half? I don't have it. I lost it. No! Wait a minute! We can make a deal. All right, I'll deal. I'm willing to promise you that you'll get protection. And you're part of the mine, once it's settled. But I'll stick to my program. You gotta stand trial. Sure. Just get me out of here. I'll do anything you say. Untie him. Don't try anything. You wouldn't get far. This is where it is. Don't shoot! 
I don't figure on cheating the rope. I promised you a trial. Whoa! I won't be long, Clem. Ten minutes. You wait for me now. Let's make this fast. I intend to be back on that stage ten minutes from now. <laughs> well, then. The accused, Gary Stevens, well known as a fast man with a pistol, <laughs> among other things, is charged with having shot and killed Bill Dakota and his wife, without provocation and without the formality of a regularized duel. Do you admit the charge? Yeah, but that ain't the point. Point is, by all rights, you're trying the wrong man. Now, of that, I'm sure. Well, who did this? Gary Stevens, explain yourself. I told you, I ain't the man. I didn't do it, Judge. Well, well, well. <laughs> all right, order in the court. Order in the court. Any comments to the contrary? Hmm? No one's objected. All right. Seeing as how I'm in a hurry, and nobody is willing to speak up, I declare the accused... Hold on, Judge. Uh, beg your pardon, Your Honor, but uh, I got a witness here. Well, well, why didn't you tell me before, Duke? Please, please. <laughs> Well, there's my witness, Your Honor. The witness will take the stand. Uh, what's your name, miss? Peggy Savalas. And what have you got to say? This boy was on the wagon. He's the son of the victims. His name is Pat, and he saw the murder. You mean you trust this brat to remember it all? Shut up. I'll decide that. All right, son. Now point out who killed your parents. Now, you tell us who started shooting first, huh? Come on, son. Don't you want to tell us? Tell him, Pat. Go on. He was the one. Order in the court. Order in the court. I declare Gary Stevens guilty of murder. The penalty provided by law in these cases is hanging. The sentence will be carried out tomorrow at dawn. Sheriff, he's all yours. And Sheriff, don't you go and do like you generally do. 
slip a noose around his neck the minute my back is turned. I said tomorrow at dawn, and I mean it. Not one minute beforehand. Are you coming with us? No, I got something to do. Duke will see you home. <laughs> yeah, sure. Did I do all right? You sure did. Just fine. Hey, Clem! Hold your horses! You made two big mistakes, mister. First, you killed five of my best men. <laughs> Second, you got my best friend condemned to death. Your damn interference has caused us a lot of trouble. Tell the sheriff you were mistaken or the boy was lying. Anything you want, but get Gary Stevens out of jail tonight if you don't want another visit like this. Vamos.
Make it quick. My son, listen to the words of our Lord. I am the resurrection and the life, and whosoever believeth in me shall not die. See, Gary, Chris always takes care of his partners. Got him down. That'll do. You better take care of yourself, young fella. You hear? Stay out of the saloon. Fighting's forbidden. Just go on home and stay in bed. Hey, Ken. They, they killed the sheriff. Stevens? He, he's got clean away. Hey, Duke. The money my patient owes. Uh, don't worry, Doc. I'll make you coffin for free. Oh, not again. Every time he needs me, he says he'll make me a coffin. My funeral's gonna look like a circus parade. I won't have it. I refuse. I refuse. From now on, it's cash on the barrel head. Haven't been reasonable, Gary. In fact, you're an idiot. I at least would have let you live. <laughs> For a while, yeah. Gary, do I have to spell out why I saved you from hanging? <laughs> nope. Well, the map. They robbed it off me. <laughs> but I know a place to find it. Well, I'll tell you tomorrow. All right. 
But be careful, Gary. I don't like jokes. If the joke's on me. Jose? Follow him. Paco, Jimenez, Manuel, a caballo, vamos. What are you here for? To find a big mouth kid. A child? What child? <laughs> Go away. There's no child here. You're mistaken. Keep away from me. I told him to follow orders, and now look at him. What's he paying the doc for? <laughs> Peggy. Peggy, what's the matter? Uh, Gary Stevens was here. He took Pat. They uh, can't. Uh, I couldn't stop them, Ken. Uh, uh, There were four of them. I bought them, but... Oh, Ken, 
do something. Don't kill him. <laughs> but why? What do they want from him? Who did this? It's nothing. I've had enough. Why did you have to get mixed up with those people? I'm tired of living in fear. Don't you know how to forgive? You can't hate your brother back to life, Ken. Ken, will it be Pat? This time? He's all right. They want a map. And I've got it. Pat's safe until they get their hands on it. I'll need your help. Jose, while there's still time, you want to make up your mind? That brat's worth a fortune. Enough gold to make you rich for life. I am content. Chris is very rich. Chris compared to a mountain of gold? With Chris, you will end up with no sabos. But with me, you'll be rich. Un hombre muy rico, Jose. What about them? Do they know where Chris hid the other piece of my map? Only I know all the secrets in that house. No, Gary. No, I cannot. Chris pays me too well. I'll pay you more. And the others? I'll take care of that. that we are in business together. I will take the boy to make sure. You, Jose. Si, Pedro, let me in.
Why I work in the dark? Now you can see much better, gentlemen. Listen, Chris, I never wanted to... Naturally, Jose, of course. I know you didn't want to. But a gold mine was too much of a temptation, isn't that right? Forget it, Jose. I know how these things are. I told you I don't like other people's jokes. <laughs> Where's the boy? The boy is all right, Chris. He has been put in the posada of old Manuel. You would not kill me now, Chris. It is true about the boy. You believe me, don't you, Chris? Certainly, Jose. Certainly. <coughs> Don't you feel well, my dear? No. Tell your men to keep away from their guns. Nobody move. Is this what you want? What do I have to pay? Where's the boy? Get him the child. Stay there, Pat. Duke, put him in the buggy. Yeah. Get him out of the way. Come on, kid. Come on. And Peggy! Pat, you all right? I'm fine now. You better get going, Peggy. The boy ain't safe here. I want something more. That man. Oh, 
<laughs> He's all yours. There's one thing you don't know about. Sure, I killed Bill Dakota, but I did it acting under his orders. Hey, mister, you forgot something. The map. Duke. Don't kill him.
Anything I can do, just say the word, Ken. <laughs> Load him into the buggy. Yeah, you're real fortunate, yes, sir. You finally met a man who doesn't know how to hate. The young man will miss. 